So getting started, first we'll go over how to use the physical lock boxes. So as you can see on the right hand side of your properties page will be your available lock boxes. And next to each box is going to be a set of buttons, unlock, unshackle, and clock sync. So we'll go over what each of those buttons mean. The unlock button will give you a code that allows you to open up the lockbox and get access to the key inside. So if you click it, it'll go ahead and give you a code that you would then type into the lockbox. So unlock codes will start with the enter button, followed by a sequence of numbers, and then concluded with another enter button. Now one thing to note, whenever you're entering buttons uh, onto the lockbox, you're going to want to make sure that the box lights up and beeps every time you press a button. Otherwise, it's not uh, recording what you're inputting. Um, so again, just be sure that the box is lighting up and beeping every time you do press a button. Next, we have the unshackle button. This will give you a code so that you can unhook the U-bolt on the top of the lockbox so that you can place it on and off properties. So when you click it, it will go ahead and give you a code that you would type into the lockbox to again unshackle it. The unshackle codes start with the function button, um, followed by another sequence of numbers, and then concluded with the enter button. Next we have the clock sync button. Um, this is going to be used if you ever are inputting codes into the lockbox and you know that you're inputting them correctly, um, but the error light is lighting up. So you just go ahead and click clock sync. It's going to give you a long sequence of buttons that you're going to then type into the lockbox. And then once you enter in these two different codes here, um, you would just go ahead and then test it with an unlock or unshackle code. Um, but once you enter in the clock sync, the box should start working for you again. Now you shouldn't have to use this button very frequently. Um, we do just give it to you as your first step in troubleshooting if that air light is ever uh, illuminating for you when you're entering in codes in properly.